It's time now to review headlines in today's newspapers. Steve, what have you got for us today? Okay, we've got this day on Saturday as our main paper. Uh, and the, uh, the lead story there says, French version of Buhari's biography unveiled in Niamey. African leaders extol his virtues. Isofu, a Buhari known for patience, honor, faithfulness, sense of duty. Mbalo, Nigerian president, facilitated my victory in Guinea-Bissau. Bazoum, Buhari, uncompromising, humble. Those are, you know, different, various African leaders extolling the virtues of President Muhammadu Buhari, whose uh, biography, the French version, was unveiled uh, in Niger, in Niamey, Niger Republic. I think that's on the sideline of the African Union Summit on Industrialization and Economic Diversification, which concluded, you know, um, in Niamey. And that's also uh, the cover story, the cover picture that we have there, showing uh, the president of Rwanda, Muhammadu Buhari, uh, the current president of Niger, and the former president of Niger there. Okay. And um, there are a few other stories there. 2023, INEC insists parties must inform it of foreign funds. That's talking of, you know, tracking and tracing whatever comes in. On these guidelines, directs parties to notify it of rallies 10 days ahead. Uh, a story on page 8 says Tinubu takes campaign to Baramatu Kingdom. I mean, uh, the candidate of the APC has been campaigning uh, all around the southeast and the south-south. And of course, he's campaigning in Lagos today, as you know. Where? Okay. And um, Oshibajo, Nigeria will be great if emphasis shifts from consumption to production. Um, if we, we do not have time, Abby, to yeah. look at other papers, but if you look at practically all the other Saturday papers, they have on their cover uh, the sad story of the loss yeah. of Sami Opozo, yeah. you know, uh, the popular gospel musician right. who died on Friday uh, at age 51. You know, uh, information is now out as to how he slumped and died as a result of, you know, um, you know, heart attack, I believe, you know. He was uh, listed to be part of the Experience Concert, um, you know, uh, the Experience Concert. Yes, we do have Punch, uh, and we can quickly go through that. Um, Punch 2 has the Sami Opozo story, as I said, Abuari fans, colleagues, mon popular gospel singer Opozo. But the important lead story there in Punch, fuel scarcity will linger till January, say marketers. Crisis may mark Christmas, New Year celebrations. Petrol now 200 to 270 Naira per liter. Federal government keeps mum. Clear, you know, dealers free to sell at any rate. That's a bad it's one. It's been on again. for one week, unfortunately. Yeah. We are back to we are back to the kind of dirty December that you have to <laughs> The kind that we don't like. Get. Sad.